Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I received a couple requests and comments to do a video like this, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. And today I'm gonna show you guys what $100 at Brandy Melville got me versus what $100 spent at the thrift store got me. I just wanna preface this by saying no shade to Brandy Melville. I shop there myself all the time. The reason I chose them and also why I shop there so often is because I feel like their pieces are actually direct copies of vintage items. And so I thought maybe doing like a side-by-side -side with Brandy Melville in the thrift store would be a little bit better than maybe Zara and Urban Outfitters versus the thrift store just because there's not really a close comparison between what you can find at the two so the items I got at Brandy Melville to start off for $16 I got this cute little like mint green cami top with a little bow it's got like a square neckline very flattering classic cute 90s fit and with like a little lettuce hem kind of bottom this is just a good basic I feel like this would look cute with everything so I grabbed that one and then for $40 I got these awesome low rise like wide leg cargo style pants in this really pretty cream color they have like a double button front and they have the little pleating down the front holding these up and looking at them they're honestly a fantastic dupe of real vintage pants that i've been buying lately oh, i love these and lastly for my hundred dollar brandy melville haul at 38 dollars i got this navy blue striped chunky oversized sweater that everyone has i've been seeing a lot on tiktok and pinterest and so that was it. That was my $100 haul at Brandy Milva. I got three very cute items, but wait till I show you guys what I got at the thrift store for the same price. Guys, I'm telling you, the thrift store will literally be supreme forever. I'm gonna start off with the pieces that I kind of got intentionally to like match the Brainy Melville vibes because I feel like I just thought it would be fun to show how many outfits I could get myself out of $100 compared to what I was able to get at Brainy Melville for $100. Coming in hot with these awesome vintage pants. They are these dark gray. They look just like the Brainy Melville ones. Um, on myself, I think they're a little bit more flattering than the brandy ones. The brandy ones ended up being a little bit too big for myself, but these are literally perfect for me. They're like 90s workwear, kind of mid-rise, low-rise vibes, so I loved those. Also, the Brandy Melville haul came out to $100.58, and I want to say that all of this I added up to $108, so it's a little different, but not really. And also, the thrift haul is from three different thrift stores throughout the week. Next, to go up against the Brandy Melville sweater, I got this insane vintage 90 oversized golfing sweater. It's all green, blue, cream, maroon knit sweater. It has a big cozy oversized fit like the Brandy one, but a much more interesting design on the front. I'm not really into golf or anything, but whenever I find a golf piece at the thrift store, I always grab them because I just feel like it looks really cool with khakis and sneakers and everything. I just love this. I felt like that was going to be perfect and a really good replacement for the Brandy Melville sweater or just like that type of style would be easy to find rather than going to buy the brand new one. Then I got this cute little blue, green, and purple floral print top. This just gives me like spring beach vibes. I feel like this paired with like some jean shorts or my white mini skirt is gonna be perfect for spring, like platform sandals and a mini bag. I just love this. And I feel like I actually have a picture on Pinterest saved with this exact material on it. And I'm gonna see if I can link it right here because that would be so weird if I can find it. Love the fit on this, love the print, and it was half off the day I got it, so that was awesome. A lot of these pieces that I grabbed were on half off day, so while it is a lot and you can get this much for $100 at the thrift store, it is easier to do that on a sale day, which I did, I think at two stores went on a sale day, which was very beneficial, at least for the purposes of this video. Next, I got this adorable little pink and green and black midi skirt. I always grab a floral midi skirt when it's in my size just because it's so easy to put this on with a tank top and sandals and just as comfy in my opinion as wearing like sweatpants and a tank top. So kind of puts you together a little bit and perfect for spring. So I grabbed this, it was half off as well. Next is the most expensive piece in my haul. I paid full price for this one. It was $20, but I just loved it and I had to have it. It was this vintage Aldo chestnut brown oversized penny lane kind of jacket coat with a Sherpa lined inside and this big oversized fit. The outside is like a really nice suede. Everything about this is so nice. It reminded me a lot of what I've been seeing people wear in like New York City right now while it starts to warm up a little bit, but you're still a little chilly. This was the most expensive piece that I got 
in the haul, which is funny because I think that's like the price of the cheapest piece that I got at Brandy. So this is like a big, chunky jacket, leather, everything, $20. Next, I got this cute little Victoria's Secret slip dress. It is 100% silk and it has the cutest little brown and tan cheetah print all over. Just a nice bias cut flowy fit and this with like my brown chunky boots or some platform sandals. I feel like it's going to be super nice flattering and it's super breezy and nice for spring. Next is one of my favorite pieces. My mom actually found this one at the thrift store while we were together, but I'm putting it in the video because it was still purchased anyways. So, it is this vintage Custo Barcelona yellow, orange, and like khaki green tank top. It's fully mesh. It's absolutely insane. I love the colors of it. I love the fit. Everything about this screams spring and like reminds me a lot of Gaima, Guas. I feel like I never know how to say the brand names when I talk about them in my video, so I seriously apologize, but it reminds me of one of my favorite brands, Gaima, Gaima, Guas. Oh, Gai, Gaimo. It reminds me of my favorite, I'm just gonna spell it, G-I-M-A-G-U-A-S. Um, it reminds me a lot of them, and I feel like it's so cute. It's perfect for spring. This I'm probably gonna put with like my white little skirt. It kind of gives me Brandy Melville vibes, and the fact that it like I want to wear this, and I want to go pick fruit off of a freaking cherry tree in freaking Paris. I don't know. I just feel like this is so cute, and I love this, so I grabbed that. Then I got this dress for half price again. It is this insane cream pink and green like short sleeved ruffle silk midi dress it again like my last dress i got has these really pretty beaded details all over it very flattering fit very springy and again this would be perfect for like a really nice brunch or going out to a dinner at night and i just feel like that was so pretty and i couldn't leave it there so i grabbed that especially at the price half off can't beat it then i got this top i think it might be a bootleg of donna karen but again i just I'm not really sure because the tag is cut out, but I got this little DKNY rhinestone baby tee. I actually love the fit of this. It reminds me a lot of the Skims Fits Everyone top and it's super stretchy, super comfy, and all of the rhinestones are intact, which is kind of difficult to come across in the thrift store with rhinestone tees. So I got really lucky with this. I love Donna Karen pieces, even if it's bootleg or not. I just feel like that, even like with the pants I have on right now would be a good casual everyday throw on piece, but still a little jazzy with those rhinestones. I got this cute, cute, cute dark brown little zebra print mini dress. It's hard to see it in the camera right now, but it's kind of sheer. The reason I got this was because it reminds me so much of like with Jean and Rat and Boa's collection for like spring, summertime, vacation for someone to have like a sleek little bun and little heels and a bag and like that would be like your nice going out to dinner outfit. Then for an incredible deal, I got this genuine leather. Sometimes I think at the thrift store they just like don't have the time to look and see if something is real leather or not. So sometimes I get super lucky with what I find that's real leather. <gasps> If you guys shop at the thrift store a lot, please tell me that you have gotten a staple in your foot or your finger before. Like it literally is the worst feeling in the whole world. Anyways, back to what I was saying was sometimes I get really lucky with the leather pieces that I find at the thrift store for the price that I find them. So I was able to get this gorgeous bright red vintage genuine leather jacket. I have a lot of outfits saved on Pinterest with red leather jackets and I just feel like it's the perfect piece to take like a leather jacket basic tank and skirt look to another level with like this bright pop of color and I feel like the red is like very French Pinterest aesthetic which kind of goes along with brandy so I grabbed that and then funnily enough I was able to actually get and this is like almost brand new. I just want to point that out. Like I was holding it and looking at it. It literally looks unwashed, unworn, everything. There's no tag on it, but I got this Brandy Melville little baby tee with the cutest little puppies and love print. I actually saw this on the website a long time ago. I'm a big dog person. So anything with like puppies, dogs, I always love. So I was really excited about this one. I actually think I own the Brandy baby tee and 
literally every color that they have i love the fit of this shirt so if you're ever in need of like a vintage fit baby tee 1000 percent recommend the brandy melvo one i can't remember how much it costs but it is so worth the money i literally wear these like every single day but that was awesome to find at the thrift store and i am almost positive i got that at the half off store so can't really beat that i got this adorable pink and green striped cami top it is by blue plate i've never really heard of that brand but it's this knit top and as you guys know i am obsessed with knit tops right now this again reminds me of the g-i-m-a-g-u-a-s brand i was talking about earlier and i just think this is so fun i feel like this is perfect for spring and i feel like i'll probably pair this with like a little skirt and some platforms again as usual or some chunky sneakers and i feel like that's just like the perfect everyday casual top and i just love the colors on it i don't really ever see colors like pinks and greens in this shade i guess you would say so i'm obsessed with this i can't wait to style this one i'm officially down to the last three pieces of my thrift haul which relatively was a smaller thrift haul for sure but looking at it compared to what i was able to get at brandy melville for the same price it's like kind of mind-blowing actually and it makes me appreciate the thrift store much more than i already do which is a trillion gazillion million quadrillion appreciates this piece is up there with the Custo barcelona top i literally probably will never ever in a million trillion years get rid of this top it's a little bit big for me so i think i'm going to bring it to the seamstress is this insane like blue orange and bright green floral fruit print top and this just reminds me so much of something that my mom would have bought in paris back when she was there for a little bit the colors are so vibrant and pretty for spring and again i for some reason i associate like brandy melville basics with like french girl basics like the french girl aesthetic so i feel like this kind of was in my head with the Brandy Melville style and if I had the Brandy Melville black mini skirt that everyone has I would definitely pair it with this next I got this oversized earth tone sweater just to kind of go up again with the Brandy Melville sweater just to show how much you can get at the thrift store in the sweater section I love the sweater section I think I spent most of my time this week in the sweater section just because it's like the last week of the year that I really We'll probably be looking through there for things, but I got this gray, tan, and beige oversized sweater. This is just, again, a perfect basic sweater. Very plain, but also nice and cozy, and I feel like it just matches with everything, and I just love the pattern, so always a good basic to have in your closet. The last item of my haul today is this cute little Lands End vintage wool vest. It is maroon green tan and like this gray purple color and it's just this nice oversized vest the reason i grabbed this was because i feel like it's going to go perfectly with one of my brandy baby tees that i already have and i was just talking about so i'm going to style this with a baby tee i've seen vests on people like kendall jenner and bella hadid so i feel like those are definitely starting to come back a little bit especially for spring fashion and transitioning out of sweaters and into short sleeves so I loved this and I felt like the colors were very neutral and able to pair it with like a black skirt, some jeans, the green pants I have on, literally anything. And so I grabbed this very versatile. And that was everything that I got for this haul video. Looking at it side by side, it's kind of crazy how much you can get quantity wise at a thrift store versus other places. The reason I made this video wasn't to say, oh, shop here and don't shop there or only thrift your clothes and blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to show that thrifting a cute closet is not impossible. It's time consuming and takes a lot of energy. And sometimes it's just easier to go spend the $40 and buy yourself the sweater at the store that you saw and liked. I just thought it would be fun to do a little side by side. I literally love everything that I got in the whole haul from Brandy from the thrift store everywhere. And it's all very cute, very spring and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for coming back and watching and I will see you guys next week. If you guys like this video and you want to see more like this or you want to see it from Zara or Urban Outfitters or wherever, just message me or comment and let me know and I will start to put together more hauls so I can do more videos like this. Love you guys. Bye!